When the first day of spring brings warm, sunny weather, you have to drop what you're doing and get outside. So that's just what I did. I set a course for the Mattapoisett River in southeastern Massachusetts, some three miles from my house, intent on exploring the freshwater portion of the river. Well, I've just launched my kayak at the small park above Route 6 and the uh, herring run on the Mattapoisett River. This is pretty much where the freshwater portion of the river ends and uh, south of here, right below the herring run, is where the tidal portion begins. And of course, the river flows into Mattapoisett Harbor and then into Buzzards Bay. I've actually never explored the freshwater portion of the river, but it being such a wonderful day and the river being so close to my house, I decided to uh, play hooky for a few hours and uh, see what I can see upriver. So let's get in the yak and check it out. The Mattapoisett River winds for 11 miles from its headwaters in Sniptuit Pond to Buzzards Bay. It's a shallow river, but home to many birds, turtles, and fish, among them river herring, which were just starting to make their annual spring pilgrimage to their spawning grounds in Sniptuit Pond. I was going to attempt a similar passage. Well, one of the uh, unexpected perks of uh, early season kayaking is that you get to claim all the lost lures that you find in the trees. Not bad. So as I make my way upstream on the Mattapoisett River, things are definitely coming alive. Uh, there's turtles everywhere launching themselves into the river as I approach. Uh, they're still pretty sluggish though, so the water must be pretty cold, even though the air temperature has got to be around. 60 degrees right now. Uh, there's all sorts of birds I can hear. Red-winged blackbirds are starting to show up in the reeds. There's song sparrows, mallards cruising around, getting flushed out as I go past their hiding places. It's really a lovely time to be on the river though. You have it all to yourself. One thing to remember about the Mattapoisett River is, is that it's very, very shallow in spots, especially during the summer and fall. So if you plan your trips at that time, be prepared to portage. Uh, right now I'm going to try to make my way upriver through this rapids, just like a returning herring. As you can see, my attempt to traverse this minor hurdle was unsuccessful, giving me a new respect for river herring, eels, and other species that are able to make it upstream under their own power. Not that time. After carrying my kayak around the rapids, I was on my way again, at least for a hundred yards. Okay, I'll admit it. I guess I should have researched this trip a little bit more carefully because unless I turn into a salmon real soon, I'm not about to get up these rapids anytime soon. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll hang out here. It's a, a lovely deep pool at the base of these rapids and uh, have some lunch and then make my way down to the uh, tidal portions of the river, which I'm a little bit more familiar with. Hey, at least I can admit when I'm wrong.
didn't set any distance records today, but that's fine by me because it was just great to get on the water and take advantage of a beautiful mid-March day. I, I can't believe I just said mid-March, but it is. It's 65 degrees and, well, I'll take it. Um, also, I, I just heard the first osprey of the season, and ospreys always make me happy.